Hello guys and welcome to Shadow of the Colossus. Now this game, as I'm sure most of you know, was originally a PS2 game and was released just a couple of days ago on the PS4. Now I'm a bit late uh, jumping on the bandwagon of this one. <laughs> I never played it on the PS2, heard a lot of great things about it. And I got it on release day for the PS4 and I have done one playthrough of the game and I really enjoyed it. So this now is my second playthrough and uh, I'm starting completely from scratch. I've like going in like from the beginning, you know, my grip meter is all as it would be as if it was my first time playing through. But obviously I have the power of knowledge. It's not a blind playthrough, which is unusual for me. But um, yeah, I wanted to play it for, uh, for my channel. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a damn good game. Um, it's essentially it is just basically 16 boss fights, but um, and the journey in between them. But that description really sells it short. It's actually much better than that. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see. So I'm gonna start a new game, and I'm gonna play it on normal, which is what I played it through on before. Uh, because why not? Easy is just too easy, and I'm not good enough to play it on hard. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and uh, let you guys see this cutscene. Was you hick? How well yet for all? He could do we be cool car. You look so I on a do. You little cock. I use the Yula called a lawyer. Oh, lick, oh, Lazulam, cause. Il's a very cool at the call. 
I'm not screwed. Laomism warp. Was you a dealer's also? View how this is view. Ikoral kizado you lola. Is this was I look? How misquick you? You are a lucky car. Dormi, Ifo, Alu Yula. Oshtu Hailwa Wukiu Aikwa. Ujis Hiazu Tsudoko was Nordekio Wuti Yula. I was Ujisu. Alu Yuli Yuaizu. Dormi, Kyoto. Is Kyunku. It is all of you, Iweriko. It knows all the amuse war. A little click, if it leads to it. What's the most? It's what you love. It's what you love. It's what I love. It's what I love. You bet, Sanada. Ah. 
So our journey begins, and our objective is clear. We must kill 16 Colossi to bring a dead woman back to life. There she is. Dead. Dead as a can of spam. Yes, we'll be on our way, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much just us and Agro, our trusty steed. I say trusty steed, she can be really annoying. Not quite as annoying as Roach from The Witcher, but pretty damn annoying anyway. So we're going to go on our way to the first boss, which is, as the sword indicates, just over there. I know where I'm going anyway, obviously, literally just did my first playthrough of it. And it's a bit of a long run. Well, not mega long. Probably about 30 seconds. Which gives me the time to tell um, tell a story, actually. One that takes probably about 30 seconds. Um, once upon a time, there was a great forest. And in that forest lived some trousers called um, Dave. Oh, look, we're nearly here. Good. Um, yeah, so I think that what I'm going to do is... Uh, Try and beat one or two colossi in each video. Um, shouldn't be a problem for someone as um, experienced of this game as me with my whole one playthrough. But we will see. Okay. Sword away. It's platforming time. So that bottom yellow meter is your grip meter. When it depletes, you lose grip. Obviously, <laughs> uh, I'm sure I don't know. I'm sure most of you watching would have already played this. I'm the one who's late to the party. You know, I don't want to um, piss on anyone's barbecue or whatever. But yeah, it is an awesome game. I wish I'd played it sooner. But having said that, it was nice to experience it on the PS4 for the first time. So it is quite amazing looking at it. I mean, I've seen videos of the PS2 version, and obviously it's a massive improvement what they've done to it on the PS4. But uh, it's quite impressive to think a game of this magnitude actually fit on the PS2. But there you go, eh? Right, here we go then. Oh my god! Okay, well, yeah. We're going to fight that thing. Why? Because we're mad on power. So, let's get his attention. <laughs> hey, asshole. Uh, you talking to me? Okay, I've changed my mind. I don't want to fight him anymore. Or do I? My sword is like a toothpick to him. I'm going to try and shine the light in his eyes. Oh, you bastard. Or set his fur on fire like like an ant under the magnifying glass. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're going to beat him using our brains. Not literally, obviously. That'd be silly. We're going to climb up here. And stab him. I take it you've met stab him. Right, now he's going to bend the knee. And then we'll just do some... Come on. Jesus, climb onto his ass. That's probably a weird thing to say, climb onto his ass, but there you go. Out of context, I mean. Quite fortunate his ass is really hairy, to be honest. For us to climb on it. I mean, if he'd, like, gone and had his ass waxed, and his back, if he went and had an ass and back waxed before this boss fight, he probably wouldn't end up um, about to die. Can you get your ass waxed? I'm asking for a friend. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Here we go, making the way up to his head. And my grip meter is looking dangerously low. Obviously, I'm used to it being a lot bigger because I just uh, finished the game. There we go. Nice. 
And again. Oh, just thought of a cool pun. Hey, buddy, you mind if I pick your brain? Ooh, uh. Oh, it would be nice if it killed you on that shot. Mind if I pick your brain? There we go. I killed him with my 80s action movie style wit. And my sword. Now we run. Run away from the black swirly thing that's swirling its way towards us. And we failed. Oh. Meh. One down, 15 to go. So every time we beat a Colossi, its statue explodes. No thing but a chicken wing. Okay. Oh, stupid dove getting in the shot. Right. Where's aggro? There she is. Oh shit. Now this second one, I after completing it the first time, I watched a speed run of the game, and I saw an interesting way that um this guy that's playing beat the second colossi oh yeah I forgot about this so basically there's the shrines just knocking about everywhere uh, not that I need to use it but I'll just demonstrate for those at home. You pray at them and it heals your health. Obviously it heals your health. What else is it going to heal? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and also... Uh, yeah, okay. The next one's over there. I know where it is anyway. Yeah, also it... Um, I think if you die, you respawn from there. I only died once on my first playthrough, to be honest. I'm kind of hoping that... Touch wood, I don't die during this, like, playthrough. But... You know, the YouTube curse and whatnot. Uh, oh yeah, so I was saying, yeah, there's like a trick method to... Well, this speedrunner used a method to beat this next boss where he basically jumped down at a certain point on that ledge. Because that little archway down there is where the boss is. He jumped off the ledge and on top of the boss. Now, I could attempt to do it. But given that I'm recording this, I'm pretty sure that I would just fall to my death and... I would have died on the second Colossi, which I'm not planning on doing, so I'm just going to fight him the legitimate way. I just wanted to mention it because it, it, yeah, it was pretty cool seeing this dude do that. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, he jumped down somewhere around this area, and then it triggers the cutscene for the Colossi to come out, and then he was already in prime position to just jump down and, like, kill it. But, yeah, we're going to do it legit, because we're too legit to quit. And this one isn't too difficult. The first few aren't difficult, to be fair. But the, I tell you, the the visuals of this game, the, I don't know. I really enjoyed the atmosphere of it. I think uh, it's just like you're just so isolated. It's just you, your horse, and these massive monsters, and a dead woman. Not the most ideal holiday, but you know. Running would be a good idea. It is quite convenient that they all have like hair and like platforms on their body that we can climb on. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> right, now this one we are going to need our bow for. Just going to piss him off. I need him to try and stomp on me. And then I can shoot the bottom of his foot. Come on, kill me, I'm here, do it! There we go. Noise. Right. Run, 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 run. Run, motherfucker, run. Okay, cool. I didn't think I was going to have enough time. Luckily, he's really selling the injury. Alright. Let's get onto this conveniently placed platform. And get my grip back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit of drama. Okay, go. Oh, nice. Nice little Shane McMahon style of uh, leap there. Now this one's got one uh, like weak point on the on his ass again. Oh no, the last one didn't have a weak point on his ass. He had like you could climb on his ass. Sorry. Yeah, no. So, so this one's got one ear on his ass and then one on his head. So we're going to both ends of the body. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Nice. And I reckon one more. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Right. To the head. Must be really annoying for this dude. Effectively, I'm just like... Oh shit. I'm like a flea to this guy, or a mosquito, and I'm essentially just kicking his ass. <laughs> right. Up the spine. Sounds spine tingly dingling. Oh shit. Okay, whoa. More drama, more drama. Makes the fight more exciting. <laughs> Come on. Okay. And here we go. Oh shit. Oh, I'm trying to get like a full swing in, but sometimes it's best just to get little stabs in because they try and obviously throw you off. Nice. No. I'm the worst case of dandruff you've ever had, boy. One more, one more. My grip's nearly going. I might have to... Uh, I might chance it. Nice. You know what? Whoop. I'm not even going to bother running. I'm just going to uh, 
Accept my fate. Two down. So, 14 left, and we shall bring back this dead woman from the dead. Well, I'm quite happy with um, the progress I've made in this first video. Obviously, they're not the, exactly the two hardest colossi, but two in one video, I'm quite happy with that. So, I am going to end the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and... Uh, Hopefully it won't be too long before I upload the next part. As always guys, thank you very much for watching and all the support. And I will see you next time. Cheers guys.